Hello everybody, the Goofy Sphere. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Ortega method on the 2x2. So today I'm just going to be showing you all the algorithms that you need for Ortega, but first of all I'll show you how to do Ortega itself. It's pretty simple, once you learn how to do it, you just need to memorize some algorithms. So the way that it actually works is when you get the cube, you just solve one side. And there's no really method on doing this, you just do it as efficient as you possibly can. And do B color neutral, it really helps you, just do whatever side you want. And you're not actually building a layer, so it doesn't really matter if you're color neutral or not, it won't actually affect your recognition that much at all. So just make a color side, and it doesn't really matter, and that's the first step. And yeah, it does not need to be a layer, just a side. So that's the silly thing that non-cubers do when you t tell them to solve a layer, they just solve a side. You can do that, and it will be fine. That's actually kind of the whole point of this method. And then what you do from there is just find the opposite color, which obviously in this case would be blue. And then you do an OLL algorithm, and get it so it's like that on this side. And then you do one algorithm called a PBL algorithm, permuting both layers, which solves everything. Okay, and first I'm going to show you the algorithm for OLL. So the goal of this step is to, you already have the white side, get the opposite side, which actually may not be yellow, it could be another side, because you're going to be color neutral. And you're just going to get that so we have all yellow pieces or whatever color pieces facing up. And so a couple of the OLL algorithms you can just take from your 3 by 3 method, but I do recommend switching a couple of them because a lot of them are quite a bit faster because there's some algorithms that work on a 2x2 that don't work on a 3x3. So I recommend uh, if you want to get fast at 2x2, learning some of those. And if you don't want to, you don't actually have to learn any OLLs because these are going to be OLLs that you already know if you know Tulik OLL on the 3x3. Okay, so our first case is you just have these two headlights right here. They're just right next to each other, and those are the only two pieces. You could use your 3x3 algorithm on this one, but for this one especially, I really do not recommend it because the algorithm for the 2x2 is much shorter. So you just hold it on the left like this and do F. R U R prime U prime F prime. Okay, now for the next case, it's kind of the same thing, uh, except you have these two opposite pieces instead of headlights. And so this is kind of the same thing as the algorithm that you would do on a 3x3, where you have the double layer move like this, just like that. Except doing a double layer on a 3x3 would be equivalent to doing a single layer move on a 2x2. So it can be written actually a little bit differently on the 2x2 than it is on the 3x3. And so on the 2x2, what it would just be is R U R prime U prime R prime F. R, F prime. So it's kind of just the same thing as sexy move sledgehammer, and it's pretty easy. But if you have another 3x3 algorithm that works well for you and it's short, uh, you can use that too because it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, and now for the next case. This one you have these two opposite rotated corners, and you just have these held forwards like this. You do F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. So it kind of just uh, flows nicely. I'm not really good at doing this particular algorithm, but yeah, whatever. But if you have another algorithm that works for you on the 3x3, like for me, I do this. I just transfer that to the 2x2 and it works fine for me. So just do whatever. You can use that algorithm or another algorithm that you have. Okay, and then for the next case, you just have these three that need to be rotated. These three right here. And this one's kind of facing off to the side. And this is just your soon case, so hold it like this. Do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Just soon, of course, there's not going to be any other algorithms that you can do on the 3x3, because everybody uses soon. And then, as you probably guessed, next comes anti-soon, which is just the same thing but opposite. You see this pieces like this instead. And hold it up here. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. Okay, we're almost done. So now for this case, we have these two headlights facing to that side, and we have these two pieces that are just kind of opposite. So for this one, you're not going to want to do a 3x3 algorithm because all of those are a lot longer than this one. So what you want to do is hold the headlights to the left and do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So just F, sexy move, sexy move, F prime. Okay, and then finally we have this case where you have headlights in the front and in the back. And so what you could do is just a normal 3x3 algorithm, where you do F, triple sexy move, F prime. That's really not recommended. So what I like to do instead is to do R2, U2, R prime, U2, R2. Okay, and now for PBL. So the goal of this step is to get from having two opposite solved sides done to having the whole thing done. So you just do one algorithm, and there you go, the cube is solved. So this step is very similar to PLL in that it just permutes pieces around, but instead of permuting one layer, the last layer, it permutes both layers. 
So the first case we have right here is usually people just do a T-perm on it. And so what a T-perm will do is just like on a thread frame, if you were to do a T-perm, it would switch these two pieces around and these two pieces around. But because there's no edge pieces on a 2x2, two two, it is no pieces to switch around. It just switches around these two corners. And so what the algorithm is, is R U R prime U prime R prime F R2 U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime. And so it seems kind of long at first, but you can do it actually pretty fast. And if you want to do another algorithm, like a J-perm, that works too. Uh, the JB-perm, you can do it, I believe you line it up like this, and you do this. Same number of moves as the T-perm, so if you prefer that algorithm, you can do that too. Uh, you can just, uh, you'll probably already know those algorithms from doing PLL on the 3x3. Okay, and now for this case, so we just have these two opposite corners to switch. And so what you could do is just do a normal Y-perm which is also kind of long, and it just switches around these two corners and these two edges, but of course, again, there's no edges, so it just switches around these two corners, and so a lot of people just use the Y perm for this case, which is fine, like, if you just do this, if that algorithm works fine for you, you can do that, but I really recommend learning this other algorithm, it actually helps you speed up your solves quite a bit, so what it is, is it's R U prime, R prime, U prime, F2, U prime, R, U, R prime, D, R2. Okay, now this is where things start to get a little bit different. So you're going to see sometimes, or a lot of the times, you're going to have two layers that are mixed up. And this is actually the most likely case that you'll get. And this is where you have a bar on the top and a bar on the bottom. Just a single bar, no opposite colors except, of course, for one part of it. You just have bar, bar. And so these aren't always going to be the same colors. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But what you're going to do for this algorithm is just do R2, U prime, B2, U2, R2, U prime, R2. Then just AUF uh, to get the top layer, of course. Okay, and now here's another case. You just have, this one's pretty similar. You have a bar here and just opposite colors, no bars on the bottom. And it doesn't matter which way this is oriented, it'll work either way. And so just hold the bar right here at the top and do R U prime R F2 R prime U R prime. And then of course A U F. Okay, and now the easiest case, sometimes it'll be aligned and look like a checker pattern. And that's pretty cool if you're just solving a two by two and then bam, checker pattern. <laughs> but a lot of the times it'll look like this and you can just recognize it by being all opposite colors or sometimes it'll even look like stripes. And so no matter how you have it, let's just say it's like this. You just do R2, F2, or I just prefer B2, R2. That's just the move for a checker pattern. So if you want to think about it as doing a checker pattern in reverse, just do that. So just R2, F2, R2. That's just a checker pattern, the first part of it at least. So that's the easiest case. Just do those couple moves. It's really intuitive. So, that is basically the Ortega method on the 2x2. It'll actually help you get quite a lot faster at 2x2. I was just doing some weird mixture blah method before this, and I always got horrible times. And with this, I actually am doing quite a bit better. And you can do a solve pretty fast. I'll just do an example solve real fast because, I don't know, uh, I'm pretty slow. I averaged around 7 seconds when I uh, did a speed solving. So, when your marks get set, go. Uh... There you go. So that's how you execute everything. Uh, of course, I'm kind of slow. Uh, but yeah, so that's the Ortega method. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a suggestion down in the comments. I'll look at all those. And if it's a good suggestion, I'll make it. And that's how I get my video ideas most of the time. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you at all, leave a like down below. And if you uh, want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, subscribe if you want to be notified when they come out. And I'll see you guys next time.